Researchers throw themselves to the floor to replicate how a human falls. It's part of an international effort to help senior citizens like this woman, one of the volunteers in a European Union research project to make living alone safer in old age. My name is Linda Hake, I am 88 years old and I live in Bremen. Frau Hake lives in an apartment at a private elderly care home. She spends most of the time in the company of her friends. But when Frau Hake is alone in her room, she feels secure. An intelligent surveillance device keeps an eye on her well-being. This system makes me feel safe. I know that if something happens, it will send out an alarm signal, even if I don't really understand how the thing works. This device, a box with a stereo camera, has been designed to react if a person collapses in front of it. The smart monitoring system detects contours of moving objects, preserving the resident's privacy. What we've developed within the project is an optical sensor, not a traditional camera. It's a biology-inspired visual sensor, like an insect eye, that contains a set of pixels that react to motion within its field of view. This surveillance device can be easily installed in an elderly person's room and works completely autonomously. It doesn't transmit any video outside, so the life in the apartment remains completely private. The system only kicks in if someone falls down. No additional sensors are required. The software recognizes a falling person by looking for typical changes in the body's position, shape and velocity. When the system detects a fall, it sends a text message alerting the family, friends or care providers. The system was uh, trained we trained the system on more than 1,200 types of falls using artificial neural network algorithms. The system has learned from these examples, so now it can be used in the real environment to detect falls autonomously. Automatic alerts reduce dependency on care providers as Europeans continue to live longer. Good. Okay, come back In this elderly care home in Bremen, three apartments have already been equipped with the new surveillance system, and other residents are also interested in taking part in the trial. There are various systems on the market, but we're choosing this one because it helps security without infringing upon privacy, which is something we want to avoid. The testing will continue until full reliability is ensured before the new technology goes on the market.